Hogy nem ez a tárgy tűzi? Real fast action, sir. Yeah. Look over the gap. Manage the money, huh? It's all right. The benefits don't suck. Keeps the rent paid, and I get forty percent off the clothes, which you know. Deal. What's the motherfucking deal? What's the deal, man? What's the deal. Show for show. What it do? What it do? I'm gonna play some music in a minute. Let me get shit going. We're gonna tap in. Let me drop the comment. Smoke. 
Don't forget, I'll let your boy HG be in there, boys. Get the, the fire. All prices, all types. Fuck with me, long way. Get my inbox up. We're gonna play some music in a couple minutes, man. Just watch, cause I did a straight through the shop, bitch. I'm stick, make his body lay. Hand to hand combat, I'll make a nigga change. Hands and feet and niggas next until they feel with pain. Pain in a real nigga heart, like a Pedro. Kanye West, shit, you can't wake up all your people. When you spread the truth, they act like you people. Knowledge causing up evil, if they believe you. Embrace a lie, they gon' love it, it's more receivable. Blind leading the blind, where the fuck they gon' lead them to? Right. It's regarding truthful people like we don't need them. Me, hard mind, don't show them the walls just to get their freedom. freedom. I'm a red man, solid land, stand on my own. So transparent like glass, I see straight through you. I'm a really gay nigga. I'm my made nigga. Some of my niggas in the graves. I'm in a cage, nigga. Y'all been afraid, nigga. Never been a brave nigga. Where I ownership fuck money. You still stay, nigga. I'm a renegade, nigga. I'm my made nigga. Some of my niggas in the graves. I'm in a cage, nigga. Y'all been afraid, nigga. Never been a brave nigga. I'm a renegade. I'm a mob figure. Go figure. Y'all niggas, y'all just act like some whole niggas. More money, more ways to deal with it. Grown man shit. Little nigga, you just a kid with it. When you face with real. Real shit you gotta deal with. Go get some more money, little nigga. Pay your bills with it. Do the crime, perfect time. Let me push it. You should have your bond of cues and quit it. Well, I talk out job, but make no sense. That's the fact, can it lie? Fuck all the foolishness. You and I got the same 24 hours in this bitch. You ain't gotta hate on me if your mind on your business. I'm from the city where the niggas don't get on snitching. They knockin' niggas' heads off in front of their own children. Green and red lights on a nigga head, just like a Christmas Santa. Got a fully loaded 14 on a nigga. Bitch, this. Nigga, fuck my mate. Nigga, some of my niggas in the grave. Some men in the catch. Nigga, never been afraid. Nigga, never been afraid. Without ownership, fuck money, you still a slave, nigga. I'm a renegade, nigga. I'm a mate, nigga. Some of my niggas in the grave, some in the cage, nigga. Y'all been afraid, nigga. Not been a brave, nigga. Without ownership, fuck that, nigga. Nigga, this is fuck. Yeah. Playoffs, anything can happen. One minute you're feeling great about a bad day, you hear that voice in your head. Hey, Chuck, let's get out while it's still good. You don't want to end up looking like a knucklehead.
worth it. You already fucked. And if you're black, then your struggle can't be up for nothing. It ain't no good. They just tell you to tough it up. Hustle and get it up. And since you alive, they gotta live it up. If you're born on this word, and you already fucked. And if you're black, then your struggle can't be up for nothing. It ain't no good. They just tell you to tough it up. Hustle and get it up. And since you alive, they gotta live it up. They say that if you're born in this world, covered in melanin, that you were cursed from birth with low intelligence. And you were only meant to slave and work for rent. You're just another motherfucker in a cotton field. Suffering from cognitive dissonance due to politics. Stuck in poverty, never seeing no way out of it. Feeding for progress, hustling to get it in. And all the moves that you make, you still stand still. The media damaging, the government's pandering. All your freedom for dollars and they just cash it in. They roll the dice with your life, they just gambling. National Guard now in charge, yeah, they with FEMA them. Be careful of the food, America feeding them. Systematic ignorance, doing sure that you never win. But if you're born and you die, you're chosen to live. Yeah, treat your cares like the blood they blow in the wind. If you're born on this world and you already fucked. And if you're black, then your struggle can't be rough enough. It ain't no good, they just tell you to toughen up. Hustle and get it up, since you alive, you gotta live it up. If you're born on this world and you already fucked. And if you're black, then your struggle can't be rough enough. It ain't no good, they just tell you to toughen up. Hustle and get it up, since you alive, you gotta live it up. They say that if you're born in this world and you got red skin. Killing you with stinky, you can possibly be an Indian. Nah. Aboriginal native walking on flat land. Told you that you were African, and now you ain't got land. It's for the next generation who don't understand. It's for the ones with the mind that can comprehend. Black lives matter. Who will you help your fellow man? Stop fronting on the internet and start collecting bands. Join hands in business. Put your money where your mouth is. And for the young ones who already got kids, be they mind, fuck a fucking Nike outfit. Be they soul, cause the enemy wanna see you dead. Stop letting all this entertainment go to your head. When you think you lose it, think of progress instead. If you were born and you die, it's about to change then. Tell a gang, sell a gang, gon' disagree. If you were born on this world and you already fucked. And if you're black, then your struggle can't be rough enough. It ain't no good, they just tell you to toughen up. Hustle and get it up. Since you alive, you gotta live it up. If you're born on this world and you already fucked. And if you're black, then your struggle can't be rough enough. It ain't no good, they just tell you to toughen up. Hustle and get it up. Since you alive, you gotta live it on up. If you're still trying to figure out how to start an online business or how to get people to actually buy from you over the internet, I have some really good news for you that I think you're going to find really encouraging and super useful if your goal is to reach the six or even seven figure on. level online. My name is Brian Moran and I'm one of the co-founders of SamCart, the number one e-commerce platform for selling digital products and services online. Recently, I've been studying 728 Facebook, why sellers, you hating many of which were Told me wasn't letting it be great. I believe him now. We see it with our own eyes. All right, y'all getting ready to get into this shit, man. My first lecture. And we're gonna uh, teach us some real shit. To be honest with you, try just fucking do it. Quit trying, nigga. Be yourself. You ain't gotta be no. You ain't gotta try. You ain't gotta try hard. Yeah, I'm with you. Trying and shit. That's what the deal is. All that damn trying, Facebook. Just do it. You know? That damn trying, man. Do, 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 Life of a motherfucking G. I 
wake up in the morning, grab a sweet, roll up some weed, grab myself something to eat, grab my clip and my heat before I even brush my teeth, fuck some toast, my hand on my toaster, I don't need a holster in this ghetto roller coaster, ain't no seatbelt, ain't no receipt for these dirty streets, niggas pay with their lives and they soul and they set free, searching for cheese in a ghetto maze, set traps for thieves, lay back with ease, stay with the strap, cause you gon' need it, folks looking for weaknesses, swarm on you when they see it, in this jungle we live, more the combat fatally ends, fakers and friends, the niggas who play, play it to win, saying they living their life, but seeing all of their clips extend, whole silly pussy, the kids digging the syringe in their skin, they say they serve and protect, they neglect to the fear, chances are slim, they dance with the devil just to make it, walk with me, let me show you the life of a motherfucking G. Life of a motherfucking G. Fucking G. Fucking G. Well, some live, some die, caskets closed, and mama's crying. Don't nobody hear no wise. The life of a motherfucking G. Not dust to dust, ash covers the grass. That's the last time you saw him. Headstones covers the home of the dear the departed. The clock started as soon as you were conceived. From the moment you started to breathe, you were appointed to leave. The life you lead from the baby bottles to bags of weed. Pull up some drink and use your brain. Don't believe what you see. Only half of what you heard. Watch for what you believe. Extensive study for love and knowledge is that's what you gon' need. They got tricks up their sleeve. Niggas slick and slick can be. They overcome with grief. Set up traps for a fee. Whack a nigga for a status. Hopes of a thousand fees. They don't have the ambition to come up with a hundred thousand G's. Your main squeeze gotta be thick or shit. Fucking your enemy. Your top dog might tell the people where you stashing your weed. Tell them where your money and coke at. They cop a plea agreement. The crooked shit that take place. Life of a motherfucking G. Life of a motherfucking G. Fucking G. Fucking G. Fucking G. Some live, some die, got his clothes, and mama's cry. Don't nobody in the wise the life of a motherfucking G. It's real, nigga. That's right. New dog, motherfucking records. Living forever, he's the bitch. Well, some live, some die, guess it close, the mama's cry On the front row, all black, and they don't know why, dawg Life of a motherfucking G, gangsta bitch, life of a motherfucking PK on my beat That's right, man And you know if PK on the beat, it's a hit or it's a classic Seriously yeah, like me and PK got billboard charting hits. Yeah, how how up there on the billboard too. Yeah. It's no exaggeration, but let's get into this. So I want to come to y'all. Yeah, go trip on. We ain't gonna trip on that. We don't even trip on that. We still live. We still live though. On YouTube, don't y'all trip. So we're gonna talk about today is The Ethiopian mystery, man. Uh, don't y'all worry about that part. There's a lot of shit going on on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, man. So we're going to get into it. This Ethiopian mystery, man. Everybody want to know, where did Christianity come from? Did it come from the white folks? Did it come from the black folks? Was you colonized? This is shit they want to know. You know what I'm saying? So, we're going to get into it. We got some scholarship about it and all that shit. If you need the information that I'm giving you, I got links. And I'll send the links to you. We can, we can go over it together. 
and alive. You can come to to the uh, Petrillion live, chop it up with me, and we can uh, we can talk about it. We can get into that. So before we start, I just want to say it's educational purposes. It's not meant to offend nobody. It's only meant to bring truth. You know what I'm saying? That's all it is. That's all it's about. And uh it might it might um piss some people off because a lot of people is depending on keeping a lot of this shit going in order to control people's minds. That's not just what y'all would think of as religion. I'm talking about this so called conscious community shit too. You feel me? So we're gonna get into the Egypt the Ethiopian mystery, right? So a lot of people believe that Christianity was given to Ethiopians by let's see if we can rock on Facebook too to get a couple of them people and talk to them too. <clears throat> by Europeans. You know what I'm saying? They believe and they not only believe it, but shit, they profess in the same shit. It's in this shit. The Europeans came up with Christianity. And uh, they gave it to the Ethiopians. But the Ethiopians didn't have it first. Uh, the whole Ethiopian Bible and all that is basically a myth. Man. And it ain't based on no fact. So, we're going to get into that. First, we're going to touch on early Christianity. So, we're going to touch on early Christianity. And to further understand... To further understand, yeah, Facebook tripping on me, y'all, so you're going to see me go back and forth, touching shit on the phone and shit, but that's because for some reason, Facebook always kick me out. If I go on this motherfucker and I don't, if I talk about a bunch of silly shit, then I'll I be on here forever. Silly shit. But if I get on this motherfucker and I talk this type of shit, I'm going to have issues. I don't, I don't know. So, boom. Early Christianity. Well, when we look at early Christianity, we find out that. It definitely didn't come from Europe because we know that the early Europeans practiced paganism. <laughs> and this is well known, even to the point where when you look into the practices that they do now, you still see that same paganism. So we know that they didn't believe in a monotheistic God or some shit like that. <coughs> Y'all, excuse me. We know they didn't believe in no monotheistic God. We know that they believe in multiple gods. They believed in um, they believed in I'm trying to think of what it's called. I think it's called a pantheon. So they believed that it was a bunch of different gods. They all had different um, like attributes and special things about them. Like kind of like how with the Netters, or like with uh, the Anunnaki in Samaria, it's pretty much you know I'm not gonna disrespect nobody and say that they just it's the same thing because it's not. Everybody did a little bit different, you know what I'm saying, and they uh, did it their own way. They gave their own interpretation of how they seen it, but yet and still, you can see the pattern. The twelve gods here, the twelve gods there. Even in it, and when you think about it, in monotheism, you still get the the um the whole pantheon thing, and it's still pretty much basically structured the same way. And why I say this, oh, Facebook, you full of shit. So why I say this is this: you get the main God, which to us, say man, I'm a Cherokee, so I believe in the Most High Spirit. So bam, maybe with you, you know what I'm saying. You do how you do. You believe in that main spirit too. Whatever you call him. You might call him Buddha. You know what I'm saying? Or, I don't know, uh, call, uh, Zoroastrianism. I think his name is uh, Zoroastor or some shit like that. Where in different religions, regardless of whatever his name is, I don't study everything. <clears throat> in every religion, you're going to see that. 
You know what I'm saying? You're going to see the pattern of it. So, and any motherfucker that want to go back and clown me because I didn't know this nigga name, hey man, whatever. <laughs> we can still get into that shit one on one too, and it won't even matter because the shit that I'm going to bring, you feel what I'm saying? It's going to be some shit that people can look up to. So, no matter how you come at the shit, the fucking truth is the truth, nigga. Now, I'm a, I'm, 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 I'm a, uh, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't, Say that I'm a, a, a debater, lecturer like you niggas, but man, say check this out. I come from up the corners, man, where your debates, your motherfucking life, motherfucker. You debate for that type of shit. So, bitch, y'all ain't talking about shit. <laughs> I ain't, I ain't worried about the little weird internet niggas, which is cool. We on this internet, so I'm gonna bring y'all this knowledge. You know what I'm saying? This is where it's at. We can, we can. I'm with the battling over on the internet. I'm all full of that shit. That's why I came up with this when I heard what I heard. So, however you niggas feel. Bring that shit to the door Type shit So When we get into it A lot of people be like Well Boom It started in Europe the Roman Catholic Church uh, All that kind of shit Basically um, Roman Emperor Constantine Came up with a little plan They did the Council of Nicaea I know a lot of y'all familiar With hearing this shit and you know they came up with myths. They came up with some fire ass psychological <laughs> mechanisms. Like they was on their shit. So, but this is the hijacking of the religion. You feel what I'm saying? So, whenever you say this is where it comes from, this incorrect. This is where the hijacking started. You feel what I'm saying? So, imagine you come up with, with this thing. And the motherfucker that you don't even fuck, I'm going to use Martin Luther King for example. So then, Martin Luther King, he the whole time, we ain't gonna worry about this shit. Oh, okay, CJ was up in the bitch, we can get right back up in there. So Martin Luther King, bam. He spent his whole time, we still in this live over here at YouTube, I got them telling everybody to go to YouTube, that's where it said Facebook trip. So, boom, Martin Luther King. We're gonna use him as an example. So, let me go over this here real quick. We're gonna use Martin Luther King for example, what I was saying. And we're going to say that. He went and he tried to give a certain experience to black people. So, 100, 200 years later, imagine that the shit rewrote and it's like, oh yeah, he was trying to free all the whites. Not to say that he wouldn't, because we, you know what I'm saying, we know that just what he was on. He wanted everybody to come together. He wanted everybody to work together. Martin Luther King, I'm talking about him as an example. I'm using him since my example. I'm an accurate description of him also. So, we all know that. Yeah, he was fighting for everybody uh, to come together, to work together. All uh, races And you know what I'm saying That's how we got it in America That's how we got it So <clears throat> The whole civil race thing uh, You know how that go So Just using it as an example To give y'all an idea Of what I'm saying When I say When you say It come from one person And one person did it and, and then They took it around the world When it wasn't the case at all That's like you saying that In the case of Martin Luther King That I just gave That would be completely backwards so we're going to get into the truth of it. You know what I'm saying? So the truth of it is this. A lot of people attribute what was created already in the Middle East to a whole different section. And that's offensive. Seeing that if you go back and you do your research, you're going to see all of the paperwork. It's a, it's a paper trail. You're going to see from the, the beginning where... Egypt, Kush, these places that names has changed now. See, that's another thing. The names have changed, but the shit the same. You understand? So, it was started in the Middle East and brought to Europe. Ethiopia haven't ever been colonized, man. Bring me somebody, show me the proof of that. Now, Ethiopia don't went and took over places like Italy. You feel me? Just to give an example. But you're going to have to really come with it, man. This is historical shit. So when you say that Ethiopia have been colonized and that they gave them that and that they didn't belong to them and that there's not Ethiopia being mentioned 44 times in the Bible. Come on, man. Why would that be in there? Unless it was the people that was part of writing. And Egypt is mentioned even more. That's why I'm telling you about Egypt and about Ethiopia together. Well, we all know that the progenitors of Egypt and Ethiopia, these are people that's loosely but closely related. Even in 
the text is speaking it. And it's always this link between them. So we're going to get into it. So, in the year 313, the Roman Emperor Constantine issued an edict, right? Because Christianity wasn't legal. See what I'm saying? They was practicing other things. That, that, that goes to prove my point, too. That it, it couldn't possibly have originated there if it was illegal there. Matter of fact, to the point where if you translated the text, you would be killed. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, look it up. It's records of people over there translating the text and being murdered for it. That's historical records. I'm talking about historical records with dates and names and shit like that. So the Roman emperor, he passed the edict and, and Christianity was legalized. It was an issue at first because, hey, they already had it how they wanted it. The people was already doing what they wanted to do, worshiping their gods in their own way. You see what I'm saying? That was working for them. So when it happened, shit, they was in an uproar. They ain't they understand. Like, what, what, what's the fuck? But see, people came. When, I'm going to relate this to the book of Eli. When you got the book, when you got the knowledge, they say knowledge is power. So he who creates the knowledge is what? All powerful. Think about that. So if I can take some shit, modify it, and get you to think I created it, I done got that power right there. Now you got to attribute that to me. You feel what I'm saying? Here they go. They say they go with that whole shit. But if you're on YouTube, you're good. So, boom. It was passed. They figured that in order to make it more adaptable to the people, they would include those same old pagan rituals that they was used to. You know what I'm saying? Saturnalia. You know what I'm saying? The Ishtar celebration, which we just went through, which y'all call Easter. The celebration of fertility. You feel me? So they figure, hey, we'll we'll keep this in there. We'll we'll continue to implement oh love let's see Jack seen on him. We'll continue to implement these uh these festivals, these holidays, these gatherings. You see what I'm saying? In order to uh keep the people satisfied, keep the people happy. <clears throat> So in doing that, what happened was it worked for them. <laughs> Shit. Hey, the people bought it to the to uh, to to where right now in this day and age, ain't y'all still celebrating it? <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? It don't got nothing to do with none of that other stuff. No. It ain't got nothing to do with that shit. And see, I'm just a country boy. I'm just a country boy. I have to learn a little something. Hey, and I'm putting it out here to y'all. Because people is uh, spreading misinformation, man. So, it turned out what happened is the Roman Empire officially adopted what they call as Trinitarian Christianity. So, not the Christianity of the Essenes, which they didn't even practice Christianity, man. And when at your truest form, you're really not. You're practicing what they was practicing. You feel what I'm saying? If it, if it's called whatever it's called now today, then that's cool. Just like in the future. You call me whatever you call me today. Trio. But say 10 years from now, I change my name. That don't mean that the stuff that happened when I caught myself Trio didn't happen. You see what I'm saying? And the people that know me as Trio, they still know me and those things. You see what I'm saying? So you can call it whatever you want to call it. It may be called something different years from now. But the whole general energy is still the same. That's the important thing. And that's what you rock with. That's why I practice what I practice. But I always fight for the right for everybody to practice with. Even if people, even if a person practices hate what I practice. And I know that sounds crazy, but yeah, that's kind of shit I'm on. So that's what they did. They established Trinitarian Christianity as a state religion for the Romans, for the Roman Empire. And we know that at a certain time, at a certain point, that the Roman Empire was powerful as fuck. You can't deny that. You know what I'm saying? Even though they dark ages and all that shit they went through, everybody get their time. So as if it was, um, excuse me, it was created as a state at that point. It was then 
joined with the state church of the Roman Empire. So now it's church and state. You see what I'm saying? So this was actually more of a political power play. You see what I'm saying? It was not a religious thing. It was using a vehicle that already worked because it come from Samaria. It come from pieces of it come from Samaria. Pieces of it come from uh Egypt. The Book of the Dead, for example. You see what I'm saying? So they already knew that it would work because it's been working. And what they decided to do is shit, hijack it, use it as a vehicle and run it, you know, do what they want to do. So <clears throat> they introduced different theories, you know what I'm saying, which some people don't necessarily believe in. Like say the original Jews. And some people slightly disagree with, like say the the uh, Muslims. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it became the one of the biggest religions, period. But it's not the original version. Is what I'm trying to get you to understand. And the original version didn't come from Europe. You see what I'm saying? That's the point of what I'm saying. The original version didn't come from there. We're going to get into it further. This is just early Christianity as far as what y'all understand Christianity. Because once I bring you to what I'm talking about, you'll get the full view. This is what y'all know of. You see what I'm saying? Where you talk about um, the uh, Council of Nicaea. W actually, the first council. You see what I'm saying? Where they came up with the Nicene Creed. You feel me? So, <clears throat> at this time, shit is, shit is um, to where it is some spreading of it done, but it's all through warfare. And you is documented. It called the Crusades. It called the Holy Wars. It was more than one side fault. So you're gonna hear it as one name from one side and you're gonna hear it as another name from another side, but it's all the same thing. You see what I'm saying? So on top of what you get, you get all these different uh sex S E C T S of the same religion, Orthodox. Catholic, even to over here Baptist, Methodist, oh, you see what I'm saying? It's the same thing, but as it spread, it evolved. We're gonna get to where we're gonna get to where um where it began too. So people I did this whole series to touch on what y'all know of as the biggest religions. This is actually older religions and is other religions just as big that people may not even really know about. You know what I'm saying? Just over here in the West, where honestly, this shit started. You see what I'm saying? Honestly, this is where this shit started. Over here in the West. But we talking about it now times. It's, it's known as basically these three religions. Um, that's Christianity and uh, Judaism and then you get Islam. This is what y'all you know what I'm saying? Know of as these big religions. We're going to go back into the early days. We're going to look at some of it. So the Jewish Hellenistic background is implied through the Roman Judaic way of uh, more like a political social tool. It was still religious. It's kind of like how we use it now. Over here, on the back of the dollar, it got in God we trust. Uh, whenever the president is sworn in, you know what I'm saying? You pretty much, whenever the president is sworn in, you use the Bible. You feel what I'm saying? So, oh, okay, that's cool. Facebook, y'all full of shit anyway. I ain't worried about that. Yeah, so I was saying. Let me get up in this live, y'all. Yeah, it's just like how we do over here. We're on the back of the dollar saying, God, we trust. You feel what I'm saying? That's a social political, that's a social political religious tool right there. Even though they say church and state is supposed to be separate, you still got, and God, we trust on a dollar. You know what I'm saying? They didn't took, they took prayer out the uh, schools, but see what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? So it's more or less not about the religious part, 
but the social political part but it is a religious thing that's when we go back to the vehicle being used so in the, in the, in the uh, provinces close to Rome and local provinces around it it started becoming kind of like shit mandatory you know what I'm saying some damn law type shit <laughs> where they was on your ass you ain't trying to practice this shit we going we going we going to go to war type shit you feel what I'm saying it was time where they friendly where they converted people into friendly where we would say friendly like I wouldn't necessarily say that shit but I mean I'm saying it so you'll kind of get an idea that it wasn't as if I say none none violent yeah, they tripping on this Facebook trip. I've been alive on the tube the whole rip. And Facebook come with this fuck shit. Alright, so we're gonna run the shit anyway. Alright, so boom. Early early Christianity was pretty much recognized as beginning in uh the year three hundred and twenty five. But it's divided to the apostolic age and the anti Nicene period. So they saying that which we which we will try to go into seeing the historical qualities of it. You know what I'm saying? Instead of just what's wrote, there's a lot of stuff that's wrote with no dates. And if we don't get no dates, then we can't really, you know what I'm saying, apply it. We can't really apply it if we don't got no date to it. So with that being said, we still gonna speak on certain. We still gonna speak on it. So they were saying that the apostolic age was basically based off the time periods where the apostles were speaking, going around, you know what I'm saying, doing their thing. But the game, it was, it was all done under the umbrella. But when you look at the story, the honest, real story, then it's basically, it's basically about the Jews fighting the Romans. So do you get the Martin Luther King concept that I was speaking of? Do you get why it's offensive for people to attribute this to Europe? So... Imagine you fighting, you're a Jew fighting the Romans, and they kill you, and then they start a religion based after you, and say that, you know what I'm saying, oh, you was fighting to free them. That's just some cold shit. That's what we're dealing with. That's exactly what we're dealing with. So, we got into some of the early, some of the early accounts. We're gonna figure out a whole nother, uh, whole nother method. I was trying to connect with my people on Facebook and YouTube at the same time, but Facebook is some hoes. So we're gonna get too deep into the whole Roman Parthian thing, Aramaic. I mean, not Aramaic, but uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, Armenian, all of them, 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 the people. And then we're gonna go into. And the next part of the topic, which is, which is going to be the colonization uh, idea. So, a lot of people speak on Ethiopia, and they say, "Oh shit, they got it. They got uh, they got the Christian religion because they was uh, they was conquered or some uh, bullshit. <laughs> they was colonized. Yeah, that's the word." They was colonized and shit like that. Um, well, that's bullshit. <laughs> it's, <clears throat> it's no real... It's no real... Evidence... To prove... That... That they was occupied. Well... Besides... The fact... Besides the fact that they had a strange relationship with uh, Italy, where they conquered Italy three or four times, and Italy came over there and conquered them too, but they didn't bring no Bible, no Christianity. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? And besides that fact, due to that fact, as the world looks on what it means to be colonized, world history don't even see it as being colonized. You feel what I'm saying? Because by the Ethiopians going over there and conquering them so many times, they was basically blended with them. So you coming back over here conquering us, you blending back in with us, making you more like us. That's why the world history don't see it like that. And then it was short. You feel me? 
They tried to invade, they got their ass whooped. Everybody that invade got their ass whooped. Period. Of course, I understand how the Italians could do it. You know what I'm saying? What are you doing? You're interrupting my shit. <clears throat> I understand. Yeah, gotta resume, gang. How they could do it. Shit, them was they kid. That was they shit. I done came over here and I whooped y'all ass all kind of times. Shit, y'all come over here and whoop my ass one good time. I can see that. <laughs> we can't say that you can get in the ring and not take two punches. Come on, man. Let's be honest. So we're gonna get into why the world, not just I, see Ethiopia like that. And why the world believed that Ethiopia wasn't co wasn't ever colonized besides that incident for I believe five to six years where Italy was there. <laughs> Ethiopia is the oldest independent state. And it's never been under colonial rule. Being colonized and being under the colonial being under the rule of another motherfucker is different. You feel what I'm saying? So when they did it was about the time that Holly Celeste was, was king. So we talking about all the way in the 19 fucking hundreds. This place been around forever. So you telling me one time in all these damn near hundreds of thousands of years. You, you, yeah, I take that one punch. Motherfucker, I've been having a fucking winning streak thousands of years. What, what, what we talking about? And then even when that happened, it wasn't because a motherfucker was bringing a new religion in. And we're going to get further into that too. we just in, in, in one part of it. So how does this? He flee. You know what I'm saying? It went on for for a few years. Um, and then uh, the UN, you know, partnered up with, with Ethiopia and they, they expanded, you know what I'm saying, as far as agriculture. You know what I'm saying? And uh, hydroelectricity. And basically gave them a uh infusion. Basically gave them that boost. You know? And uh shit that it is what it is when it comes down to that. People speak on working with the United Nations and and then working with the African Union, you know what I'm saying, things like that. Uh when you a superpower man, you gotta be real to yourself. You feel what I'm saying? A lot of y'all gonna understand it because y'all be like uh, y'all don't know what it's like to go into the, to the building and go right to the boss and do business with them. A lot of people don't know what it's like. A lot of people never experienced that. When they go into a store, they go in that bitch as a consumer. A lot of y'all ain't ever been a vendor. You feel me? So the vendors look at the, when you come in that motherfucker and you put your products up down the table and you get your couple of cigars or fucking juice or whatever the hell you motherfucker. So them doing work with other superpowers in order to get where they need to be Shit, that's part of the game for real, for real, when you like running countries and shit. Now, what made Ethiopia so different is when it comes to its advances in agriculture, which over there you got to be innovative. Just like over here you got to. You know what I'm saying? With the, with the, um, the, the, the hydro technology that they was using, it, it got them where they at. You feel me? It got them on that plateau now getting back into their little issue with the Italians King Menelik II who was the emperor of Ethiopia and the king of Shua you know what I'm saying they was actually you know what I'm saying in power at that time they went to to, uh, to Congress and shit they they, they they made some shit, you know, work made it happen. So, Ethiopia been an isolated place for a while. You know what I'm saying? Menelik started expanding. You know, and uh, putting work in out here in the world. And he actually established something that nobody before done, which was he established satellites with the Italians. So we go from fighting them, we go from going to war with them, to 
you know what I'm saying, <clears throat> to actually being allies with them. You feel me? So, the shit was crazy, but in all honesty, it might have been uh, something like a power play. You feel me? It might have been a power play in order to, you know, put put the man Menelik in a, in a position to where, you know, we, we got your ass. But it didn't work like that. So, the Italian troops uh, ended up occupying the, <clears throat> of certain parts of Ethiopia. But, uh, by this time, it wasn't even, you know, what you would think of. It's kind of like how we occupy certain, we got places we occupy. You feel what I'm saying? As the United States. But that don't mean that we currently, you see what I'm saying? Beefing with them, fighting with them right then while we there. You feel me? But this is just to give you some, somewhat of a timeline of um, that whole colonized ass shit that everybody talking about. So that further breaks that shit the fuck down. So coming to what really was going on in Rome, which proves you can go and put that shit to the side. That it definitely didn't come from Europe. We didn't already showed you that with, when they implemented it, why they implemented it, and what they was practicing before then. So you can go and move that shit the fuck around. Circle 500 BC. When the rulers of Axum created the Ethiopian kingdom and claimed descent from Solomon and the Queen of Sheba, which was Makeda, who was the actual real person. Look her up. You feel me? Of course, you're going to see when it comes to history. Come on, think about it. You got you probably got a nickname. You know what I'm saying? You probably got a nickname somebody call you. And there's people who know your actual real name, too. The one that's going to historically be part of your legacy. You feel me? So, <clears throat> even back then, they, this is what they was practicing. This is what they was practicing back in the creation of it, when nobody was even, nobody was even uh, thinking about that other shit that y'all talking about. Pretty much. <laughs> so we're gonna get into Esna, who was the king that, like I just mentioned, Axum. And, and what happened to where this is where everybody go to you feel me that's why I had to pretty much bring y'all to this point so that y'all can see so this is where everybody goes to this is everybody's go to for oh yeah this is this, this what it was they was definitely you know what I'm saying colonized by Rome and yeah yeah that's why they do Christianity this is why motherfuckers go to it but they ain't got full understanding of it cause what people say is that Constantine, Rome, whoever the Roman Emperor was at the time, sent word to Zion, who, who was the king of Oxum, but he was also a creator. When we say he was the king of the Oxum, then we talking about Yemen. We talking about a widespread area. We ain't talking about just one little territory. So he ain't taking no word from no motherfucking body. He ain't listening to nobody. He ruling shit. You feel what I'm saying? So, we're going to get into it real quick. So, a lot of people say that he was converted by Rome. You know what I'm saying? Which definitely wasn't true. He wasn't converted by Rome. He actually, he actually was converted by, guess what? By his slave, who was, who was also his teacher. You feel what I'm saying? So imagine this shit. Not only was was he his slave slash teacher, but when word did come from Rome to send this person, because like I'm trying to get y'all to understand, this form that they was practicing was already theirs. But now these people come from way over here and they say, hey, we got this shit we done made, so y'all need to fuck with this shit or nothing. Basically. Motherfucker well, told you, man, kiss my ass. We ain't going for this shit. So Fermentus, who actually, who actually was in, ended up in Atlanta Kush on some accidental shit. You feel what I'm saying? 
it wasn't even on purpose type shit. They basically, you know what I'm saying, was uh, was uh, shipwrecked. You feel what I'm saying? And uh, well, this is one account, and he ended up being there. He ended up working his way up to the top of the church. You feel me? And uh, it's actual historic records of it. So it's not like stories with no real accounts with dates. Fermenters end up becoming the head of the Ethiopian church. Of course, seeing that Ezana was the king and that was his teacher and friend, then we see how that can be possible. Even though Fermenters was a Syrian. You see what I'm saying? So, it's even a letter from the Emperor Constantinus II that's addressed to Ezana. And it's basically saying, a man sent Fermentius to us. Because we need to examine him because he's not practicing his doctrine. Well, we're going to practice what the fuck we already got going on over here. You feel me? No, we ain't rocking with that bullshit. So that's where, this is the real story. I know the story that people told in this documentary with dates and shit. I know the story that people told was basically like that. Was basically that Zana was the one who You know what I'm saying Brought the Christianity to them and Well he was just one of the first ones to organize it. You know how that worked It's just like with Tupac man So y'all want to get Tupac his credit We already knew the ghetto was fucked up We already knew he was living a thug life He just the one who said it He just the one who took it serious To the point where he said We need to do something about this shit You feel me So don't he get the credit for that Don't he deserve to get the credit for that But don't he also deserve to be represented properly? And not just a motherfucker using his name, adding a story to it to fit a damn narrative? So now, y'all got a better understanding. Let me get to my YouTube. So now y'all got a better understanding of what this is all about. You feel me? About the whole history. It's not a mystery no more. I only addressed it as a mystery because shit, that's what it is before you understand it. We understand that it was religious wars behind it. We understand that Christianity was created in the Middle East. If you need extra information, more information on it, hit me up and we can we can chop it up about it. Shit, we're going live with this work with it. You know what I'm saying? And this basically just part one. I still got some more parts coming too. So, if anybody want to uh, question some things that I said, want to debate me about it, want to hit me up on the live. And chop it up and further get into it. We can do that because that ain't even a whole. That ain't even a whole th fifty rounds right there. <laughs> Seriously, and I I just dropped some heavy ass game on you that you can research for yourself, and it's gonna all pop up. It's scholarship by it. If you need links, holler at me. I got them for you. These date documents. I ain't write this down. It got dates and shit. They done examined the shit. These people who already had an understanding of it, but like I say, it's so profitable to lie to y'all. Or deceive y'all Or to misconstrue some shit In the name of conscious Black power all this, Man come on with that shit What about truth power man What about the motherfucking real power Yeah I'm all for all that All that good shit But man don't be lying to me and shit Cause then it ain't cool Now it's just fucked up And you calling it black power But it's deception power Come on guys Don't do me like that Keep it 100 with me man So I can really feel you so, yeah, man, that's, my, that's me right there, y'all. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed it. Here's my first lecture. A lot of people already fuck with me, so they already know what's going on. They already well um, in tune with this 
this vibe I got inside of me where she get in that ether mind and pull the information down and provide it yeah to you that way and like I say if you really want me to pull the bazooka out then we can get really into it <laughs> and I can show you some shit to where it'll blow your head and you'll be like damn so it was no way possible because 300 years before they was practicing the shit and these motherfuckers was walking around uh didn't even know what the uh, shoes and shit was You understand that it was a group of people that's been on this motherfucker who ain't ever had a dark age, always been in light, always been walking the path of the dark light. You feel me? The path of wisdom that leads to all understanding. You dig that? So, I ain't saying I'm perfect, man, or none of that shit. Like I said, I'm just a country dude that learned a little something, something. And I want to share it with people. And uh, we're going to definitely continue. In, uh, with, with either the Islam and the Moors you see what I'm saying I want to get into it and then we're going to get into the Ashkenazi Jews and the, which I would consider Aboriginal original and uh shit y'all want me to do that coming up we're going to get into that and if y'all don't want me to do it I'm still going to do a shit <laughs> keep this shit building with you motherfucker so uh it was nice spin game with y'all man Y'all fuck with me. Alright, YouTube. Facebook wasn't acting right. They never do. Facebook I was true. Facebook I was true. Cool. Cause we done knocked out a good amount of time. That's really going down. So, um, fuck with y'all too. Comment, like, share it. You know what I'm saying? And we can come back and do some more knowledge seeking.